Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about Thevenin's theorem. And this theorem says that uh, any combination of voltage sources, current sources, and uh, resistors can be simplified to just one voltage source with a series resistor. Um, to simplify a circuit with uh, voltage sources, current sources, and uh, resistors, you have to follow these four rules. <clears throat> One is remove the load resistance. Two is calculate the voltage seen by the load. And this is common, commonly denoted uh, VTH for uh, Thevenin's voltage. And then you have to make all voltage sources shorts and all current sources open. And then the last step is to calculate the resistance seen by the load. And then after you do that, you can um, create a simplified schematic um, that'll be easier to analyze than the original one. Okay, so here's the circuit I want to simplify, and this is what I want to try to make it look like. You can see uh, Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance, and then there's the load resistor right there. So, to the first step to simplifying this uh, circuit is to remove the load resistance. As you can see, you're then left with uh, the two terminals A and B. Uh, so the second step is to calculate the voltage seen by the load. This is pretty easy in this circuit because you can see R1 and R2 just form a simple voltage divider. Uh, so since R1 and R2 are both the same value, um, we know that the output would be half the input voltage. So it would be 0 0.5 volts uh, output. But if you want to calculate this, obviously with a more of a different schematic where the resistors are different values or something, uh, the output voltage would be different. So the the equation for um, solving for this is V out equals V in times R2 over R1 plus R2. So this is just uh, V out equals 1 volt, right, since this is 1 volt times R2, which is 1,000 ohms, divided by R1 plus R2, which is 2,000 ohms. So you can see that uh, 1,000 divided by 2,000 is 1 half, and then 1 half times 1 volt, you get 1 half volt. So that's the output. Um, now the third step is to uh, make all voltage sources shorts and all current sources open. So we'll remove this battery here and replace it with a short. Now this is assuming that your voltage source is ideal and it doesn't have any internal resistance. So once you replace it with a short, the next step is to calculate the resistance seen by the load. Um, so when, when this is replaced with a short, you can see that R1 and R2 are just in parallel, so then it becomes really easy to uh, calculate it because we know that the, uh, the equation for finding the resistance of resistors in parallel is 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So 1 over R, which is the resistance we're trying to find, <coughs> equals 1 over 1,000 plus 1 over 1,000. So, 1 over R equals 0 0.001 plus 0 0.001. So then you get 1 over R equals 0 0.002 so then um, ends up being R equals um, 1 divided by 0 0.002 and 1 divided by 0 0.02 turns out to be 500 so resistance is 500 ohms <clears throat> okay so now we know that the Thevenin voltage is half a volt, so VGH equals one half volt, and the Thevenin resistance is 500 ohms.
So now you can see, um, now that we've done that, we basically just simplified our schematic to this. Now I've rewritten that simplified schematic, which we call the Thevenin equivalent, uh, so I can show you why this is useful. So let's say that the load resistance is 100 ohms, and we want to find the current going through the total circuit, or going through that load. Um, and find that it's much easier to do that in a Thevenin equivalent circuit. Because all we have to do is add up the, um, the Thevenin resistance, 500 ohms, plus the load resistance, 100 ohms, it's of course 600 ohms. And then using Ohm's law, we take uh, 1 half volt and then divide that by 600 and that gets us the um, current, which turns out to be approximately 0 0.8 milliamps. And this is actually a lot easier than trying to find the current through the original circuit. Um, and now that we have the simplified uh, circuit, we can substitute any value in for the load and find the current or whatever uh, you want to pretty easily. Okay, here's another example, and this one we have two voltage sources and four resistors. So just like the last one, the first step is to remove the load resistor. And then um, for this particular circuit, I'm going to use the superposition theorem. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. But basically, uh, we're first going to solve for the voltage across these terminals with this battery, um, making this one a short. And then we're going to do the same for the other battery. Uh, so let's do that. We replace the five volt battery with a short. And then we need to calculate uh, the voltage across this resistor um, using that battery. So basically we'll just use the, um, the same equation we used for the last problem, which is V out equals 2 volts times R2, which we're um, saying is 10 ohms, over the total amount of resistance in a circuit which is 80. That makes uh, the voltage 250 millivolts. Or um, 0 0.250 volts. Okay, now I did that same thing for the other battery, that 2 volt battery, and I calculated the voltage uh, across these two resistors for the 5 volt battery. Um, and it turned out to be 4.375 volts. Now the only thing you need to do to calculate the voltage for when both batteries are in effect is add those two voltages together. It turns out to be 4.625 volts. So that's the um, Thevenin voltage. Now that we know the Thevenin voltage, or uh, VTH is equal to 4.625 volts. The last step is to uh, short out this battery and calculate the feminine resistance. So let's go ahead and erase some of this. And then we just, um, when those two things are shorted out, it turns out that these two resistors can be added together at 70 ohms, and then it's in parallel with this 10 ohm resistor. So then it's just 1 over R equals 1 over 10 plus 1 over 70. This turns out to be R equals 8.75 ohms. So now we know that the feminine resistance is 8.75 ohms. Now all that's left is to write that uh, Thevenin equivalent circuit. We have a battery, 4.625 volts, and then we have a series resistor. That's 
0.75 ohms. And then we have that load resistor. And then you're done. I hope you like this video. See you next time.